Hi friends, welcome back to Discovery at Library. Today, we're going to be making a fish from materials that normally get discarded or thrown away. So these materials, like plastic, a toilet paper roll, these materials usually just get thrown away or sometimes recycled, but this gives them another purpose and it makes them into something completely different. So here's the materials that you'll need for this project a toilet paper roll, or you can even use a paper towel roll too. They look exactly the same. Paper towel rolls are a little bit longer, so you can cut them and you can have two of these. Um, plastic bag, and you can get these from grocery stores. Usually anytime that you go shopping, you're given a plastic bag. And these pollute the earth like crazy. There are so many plastic bags out there. So you're saving the planet by reusing this plastic bag. And then, also markers and scissors. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so as you can see here, I've already cut into my plastic bag. So I just cut like a kind of a rectangular shape out of my plastic bag. So that is ready to go. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to cut some slits into my toilet paper roll. So I'm going to cut at the top here, just kind of bend it a little bit so I can get my scissors on there. Just cut a nice size little hole for one of our fins. And then we need some side fins, so I'm gonna cut a slit on this side too. Okay, with that one. Cut a slide slit on this side. Alright, that looks Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and feed our plastic bag through these holes. So I'm just gonna take my plastic bag. I'm just gonna grab it like this, kind of spread it out like that. Go ahead and feed it through one end of your fish. Bring it up through this top slit that I made. And then we're going to, I'm just using my fingers to guide the plastic through to this other side here. And it's okay if you kind of poke your hole and get a, a little bit torn here. I think it's all right. Stick that through. And then we're gonna feed the rest of this plastic through this other side fin. And so now we've got two fins on each side, a top fin, and we've got a tail in the back, which we can kind of mess with, see how we like it. So that looks really good. All right, next step. All right, so final steps. So we wanna go ahead and get a head for our fish. So we need to attach these two sides together. You can do this with tape or even a stapler. I'm gonna use a stapler for this one. So it's just kind of an easy one down and you've got those attached. All right, so I wanna fix this head though because it looks a little bit wonky. So I'm gonna cut these little sides off. So it makes more of a rounded edge. All right, that looks better. Okay, so let's go ahead and design our fish. So I'm just gonna use my markers here. Take this purple one and I am going to make a little face. You can do whatever kind of face you want. I'm just gonna do kind of a happy face for my fish. But you don't have to do a happy face for your fish. You can make your fish Maybe kind of scary, maybe a shark. You can make your fish however you want. And then I'm just gonna add some little designs of like scales to this side too. All right, I think we got a finished fish here. Looks pretty great. All right. Okay, so we've used all our recyclable materials and put them into this fish project. It's wonderful. It looks great. Now what you could do with this too is maybe you can attach a string to it, hang it from the ceiling, and it could kind of hang, which would be super fun. It would look like it was swimming. There's so many different things you can do with this. You can make it into maybe a shark instead, kind of cut these fins to make them look a little bit more sharper if you want. So go ahead, try this out. I think this is such a fun project to do 
to reuse materials again and give them another purpose. Thank you so much for watching. Check out more of our Discovery at Library videos and we'll see you all next time. Bye.